Hey guys, it's Stacy, and I have a book review today for the book Madame Tussaud by Michelle Moran. And oh my goodness, I love this book. I am so excited about this book. I'm so happy with it. I can't even describe how much I love this book. Um, if you love history at all, you need to read this book. Um, especially um, French Revolutionary War, Reign of Terror, things like that. Holy cow, this book really put things into perspective for me. I thought I knew stuff, right? It's one of those books where you go into it thinking you know stuff, and when you finish it, you think, wow, I knew nothing. I'm an idiot. This book is so good. Um, I had read Cleopatra's Daughter by Michelle Moran and loved that one also, so I was excited when I saw this in the thrift store. Um, so I picked it up. I'm a big fan of Michelle Moran's writing and she did not disappoint. This book is so worth the read. It, it's kind of big. It's like 440-ish pages, so it's not, you know, tiny by any means, but so worth it. You have to read this book. Um, anyway, let's get into it, really. <laughs> Besides me just going on about how much I like it. So the book obviously is about Madame Tussaud, but it starts out before she was actually Madame Tussaud. Um, her name was Marie, and I can't pronounce her last name. She had a German last name. She's actually German and Swiss. And her family is living in France, um, and it starts out at the time right before the revolution. So things are starting to get heated up. People are starting to get angry about the royals and, you know, lack of bread and um, how the royals are living and how the peasants are living. So um, tensions are starting to rise. And it goes through how her family lived during that and through that time and how they managed to survive, really. And it's so fascinating how this family managed to make it through that time period. Um, but anyway, um, it ends up, you know, her becoming Madame Tussaud in the end and, you know, her starting her wax museum in London. But for the most part, for like 99% of the book, it's during the French Revolution. And this is where I say, holy cow, I thought I knew stuff and I did not. Um, I homeschool my kids and I have them read a ton of historical fiction books history is my favorite subject and whatever time period we're working on I find historical fiction books to go along with whatever time period we're working on anyway when they get to high school and we get back because we do like cyclical kind of history so we go all the way from the beginning of time and work our way up to modern day and we then we start over again from the beginning so when we get back around to the French Revolution, my kids will be reading this book. I will give them this book and say, go learn, because they will get so much more out of this book than I got out of, you know, all, all my years of school and anything I ever saw or heard about the French Revolution. Um, something that was incredibly interesting to me was all of the people that, I'm just going to call her Marie, because that's how she's referenced in most of the books. So the thing that was most fascinating to me was all of the people that she knew. Um, their museum that they had in France was kind of where people went to get the news. So they would model, um, you know, important people or important situations, things that were going on, and people would come to the museum to see what was happening and what people looked like. Um, and they kind of liked doing that more than they liked reading the newspaper. So her museum was quite famous for, you know, where people would go get their information. So um, she had to be very up on the times and in, in the know. And she, you know, walked around in like high society and well-known circles. She was, you know, famous for putting people out there. And it occurred to me last night, I, was, I finished the book, that... You know that question, if you could have lunch with anybody, you know, past or present? I would be having lunch with her because she knew everybody. She knew Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, General Lafayette from the Revolutionary War. She knew um, Marie Antoinette and the King. She knew all of the French revolutionaries. She ended up being um, 
she ended up in prison for a while and she ended up being cellmates with the woman who ends up marrying Napoleon like seriously this woman knew everyone and I would love to pick her brain she's fascinating so um, instead of having lunch with you know like Benjamin Franklin and just Benjamin Franklin I'd rather have lunch with her because she could tell me all about everybody um, this book got me so excited to read and I have not been excited to read in a very long time and it's not that I'm in a slump but because well I've been picking up books but they're not interesting they're just not interesting to me and I, I'm just like eh, I don't care I don't care what happens to these characters I don't care what's going on and I end up putting the book down and then I'm frustrated and so I've been picking up a lot of um, contemporary books lately and I have just not been happy with them so I went back to my favorite genre historical fiction and I'm so glad I did because I kind of flew through this I was so excited to pick it up and see what was happening now I gotta say in the very beginning it might seem a little slow because you're just getting the like scene setting for her family and what they're doing and you know the beginning days of the revolution but as the book goes on um, it gets more into the revolution and the reign of terror and heads are rolling literally heads are rolling like every page there's new people getting their heads chopped off and horrible things happening it is really kind of not for the squeamish but this is real stuff people this seriously happened and it was way worse than I even realized so I think it's very important to read stuff like this to see you know how stuff like this happened and be able to recognize if things like this start to happen again and what you can do to stop them from happening so I love this book I give this book five stars out of five stars totally worth reading it got me all fired up for reading again the book ended with um, it talked about it started to talk a little bit about Napoleon coming into power and now I'm all like oh, I need a book about Napoleon I want to read about him next and he was not on my summer TBR but I'm gonna have to fit him in there somewhere he's little he'll fit right so oh and also I'm doing a field trip with this there is a Madame Tussauds here in DC that I've never been to and I'm gonna be taking the kids there one day this week and I'm gonna film that and make a vlog out of it and I hope you all read this and tell me what you think about it because I loved it. Favorite book ever. Well, not ever, but one is up there. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot. Bye.